Hello, this is Dr. David Tam, President and CEO of BB Healthcare. And today, welcome back to segment or part number two of this special Tuesdays with Tam three-part series featuring the renowned Dr. Diana Dixon Whitmer, uh, one of the latest of the advanced uh, uh, physicians coming here to Sussex County, joining BB Healthcare to create the next generation of care. This week, uh, we hope to be diving more into Dr. Diana Dixon Whitmer's storied career and trailblazing work in the field of breast surgery. And so once again, Diana, welcome back. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. It's a privilege. So, you know, Diana, you, in, in the last episode, in the last segment, and by the way, for all of you who maybe have missed that first segment and are going to hear, you can always go back and look on uh, our social media pages and get that first segment so you can see what we talked about. But Diana, you know, in the last segment, we talked a little bit about your uh, career experiences, where you come from, but if you don't mind, why don't you discuss some of the most interesting ones in your career that you have had that really brought you to this point and now, uh, you know, like you shared in your first, brings us to the point of building this amazing breast health care program uh, uh, here in Sussex County? When um, I was at a, an American College of Surgeons meeting in the 80s, and I met a breast surgeon named Dr. Mel Silverstein. He gave a presentation about his breast center, which was then in Van Nuys, California. And he gave an invitation to me and to my husband to visit him there and see how it worked. He had pathology, breast imaging, medical oncology, all right in one breast center. Patients came to that one place for all of those different uh, consultations and radiation was just across a parking lot at the hospital. And I was so impressed by that, that I wanted to make that the experience for my patients who had breast cancer diagnosed. And my husband and I did that. We, we created a small breast center. We were the first people in the Delaware Valley to do stereotactic core biopsy, which is a way of taking, getting a diagnosis from something that maybe you can't feel in the breast, but you can see on a mammogram and doing a needle core biopsy of that. We had a stereotactic unit, ultrasound unit, and a small operating room. We saw the patients, did the biopsies. If the biopsy showed cancer, then the patient could meet with the breast surgeon, but also a medical oncologist, radiation oncologist, plastic surgeon, if that was gonna be of value, even nutritionist and a psychologist, all at the same time, at the same place. The patients, loved it and we loved it. Eventually, the uh, a large medical center, which is now Christiana, developed their own breast center. They asked me to become a, a part of their breast center and to develop that. And I just think that having uh, patients be able to feel that they are the center of episodes of care, rather than the patient having to go here, there, the other, where for episodic care, um, that the patients find it very, very reassuring to be able to have things centralized for them. So that's been my, um, my dream, my practice for now two and a half decades or more is to continue to work to make breast cancer treatment patient-centered, multidisciplinary. And um, I think that, that that is the most important thing about my vision of treating patients with breast disease. 
Now, uh, Diana, you've also been on many national committees. Uh, you've written, I mean, your, your list of publications is as long as my arm. Uh, you've also done medical missions. Talk, if you, if you don't mind, talk a little bit about that kind of work, which is really, which isn't just in the OR or in the clinic, but how you have worked so hard to advance breast surgical education as well as technology, you know, out in the community, out in the medical community. I have, um, I have developed <clears throat> some of the minimally invasive breast biopsy uh, devices, actually, uh, 20 and 25 years ago, when that was very early on, I helped develop some of the devices. I've been a part of the education committees of American Society of Breast Surgeons and of American Society of Breast Disease. Uh, working with an international uh, group of, of just excellent individuals to create training programs. I, I've been an ultrasound instructor on the national, uh, the national education for American society, I mean, for American College of Surgeons for many years and have had the wonderful opportunity of working with the Commission on Cancer to develop educational programs, mostly around breast disease. Most recently, I was able to be a contributor to what's now a three volume series called wow. Operative Standards for Cancer Surgery. And this is a online or in paper document that is evidence-based and it is for what the critical elements of an operation for cancer are. My specific contributions were of course mostly in the breast section in volume one. But I continued to be involved with a program that developed for the American College of Surgeons. Uh, it developed really out of that that document, that Operative Standards for Cancer Surgery. And this program is called the Cancer Surgical Standards Program. And it is working to develop standards such as templated synoptic operative reports so that every person who's doing um, a cancer operation, that another individual can look at that operative report and know exactly what critical elements were addressed and in what way. Sort of creating a common language, if you will, around documenting what has happened in the operating room for a cancer operation. You, you know, uh, Diana, that's, uh, that's so important here as we continue to grow our services here in Sussex County. And, you know, it kind of segues into my next question where not only are you an excellent surgeon, an excellent clinician, you know, and have the experience of building programs, but it sounds like you've been so invested in training and educating future surgeons, as well as other people, all into creating these collaborative efforts to take care of breast cancer patients. Can you talk a little bit about that and what you want to do here at BB Healthcare in Sussex County? I can. I was on the teaching faculty at uh, Christiana from 1983, literally, literally uh, participating in the education of hundreds of surgical residents. There are seven chief surgical residents a year that graduate from that program. And I've had the great privilege of being able to be a part of their education and being in charge for more than the last, for the last 15 years in charge of the breast part of their education. About seven years ago, I started work to develop a fellowship. A fellowship means a training program after the five or six years of surgical residency. And I developed a breast surgical oncology fellowship where individuals with a specific special interest in breast could spend a full year after they've finished all of their general surgery and are board eligible 
and a full year doing medical oncology, radiation oncology, going through all of the specialties, including surgery, that are of value to an individual being treated for breast disease. And that, that was just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience working with those young doctors in training and uh, seeing them once they finish the fellowship and the excellent work that they're doing, the excellent research, the excellent carrying it forward, paying it forward by continuing to, to train other residents and fellows. Well, you know, that's really exciting because certainly, I guess, um, we're not trying to replicate a large teaching program, university-based program, and all the complexities there. We're here at BB Healthcare trying to develop that patient-focused, you know, patient-centered approach to actually a fairly common problem that is breast cancer and breast health. And so you're bringing not just the expertise, but you're also bringing us the opportunity to teach everybody, not just doctors, but clinicians, nurses, patients about how we move in that direction. And that's really something that's so exciting uh, for me as we move forward to the next generation of care. I am very excited about it. And I have been part of the, actually I was one of the founders with Maureen Lauterbach of the uh, Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition and served on their board for many years um, and have been part of educational general public and and um, medical provider educational programs through Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, which I think is a fantastic organization. They continue to be very active. I also work with the American Cancer Society and have been on the board of the Mid-Atlantic uh, region and have participated in education of their providers uh, are around rehabilitation after surgery for breast cancer and other topics. We're so excited to have you and that's all the time we have for today. Uh, but please remember this is only part two of a three part series. And so next week we'll close out this a series of uh, Tuesdays with Tam with Dr. Diana Dixon Whitmer, where we'll dive into the important relationship between the doctor and the patient. Because at the end of the day, you know, the fact of the matter is, as I'm sure Dr. Dixon Whitmer will agree, one of the most important parts of providing excellent quality care is making sure that it is patient focused. And when it's patient focused, one of the things we have to do is make sure that the patient and the family don't have to drive three, four hours to get the kind of care that they now can get close to home. And that's what BB Healthcare's mission is, uh, to take care of the patients of Sussex County. So um, thank you for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing you again on, a, on the third of the three-part series of Tuesdays with Tam with Dr. Diana Dixon-Whitmer. Have a great day.